Nathan. Hey, there's my girl. Oh, my God, I'm so scared. Hey, babe, you're amazing. To be honest, I wasn't expecting anything, you know, after last time. Yeah, well, I was an idiot before. Hey, you're there for me this time. Yeah, like you've been there for me. Always. Come on, let's go around to yours. I'm starving. Oh, wow, you look hot. You just want to help Bethany. Don't think you're trying to upstage you, though. Oh. Right, do you think I should go and get changed? Mm. No, I'm yanking the chain. Seriously, though, you do look really fit. Mm. Mm. Well, at least I made an effort. Uh, I'm down with the kids, me. This is the uh, crumpled could never make it as a hipster look. What do you think? I love it. Yeah? Mm. 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 It's only yours. Uh, Mum, this is Nathan. Uh, hiya. Uh, so what can I get you to drink? Tea's fine. Uh, cheers. Something smells good. Oh, yeah, it's uh, shepherd's pie. Can I help? No, it's fine. Um, me and Gary, we're gonna sort this thing. Thanks for inviting me, by the way. You have got to be kidding me. The guy's older than I am. Yes. Oh, shh. This is ridiculous. No, we can't just sit down with this guy like we're cool with him, can we? Now, I've got to take him outside and say something. No, no, shush. I don't want you to say anything. Sarah, you can't seriously be fine with this. It's fine. If he leaves, she's going to be straight out after him. So just let me think for a minute. Just let me think how to handle this, right? And I don't want you to say anything. OK? OK. Oh, I really nervous. <laughs> It's great. Oh, thank you. It's uh, my mum's recipe. Yeah? I don't get too many home-cooked meals these days. <laughs> <laughs> no? I imagine you left home quite some time ago. Um, at Nathan's, we always have takeaways. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Typical bachelor. Mm. So you've never been married, then? Mm. No. Mm. A couple of close shaves. Really? How old are they? That's got nothing to do with... No, babes. With... It's, it's fine. No, I am sorry. Um, how old are you, exactly? 35. But, to be honest, I'd be the same if a bloke like me started dating my 16-year-old daughter. The fact is, when we met, Bethany told me she was 20. Uh, yeah, sorry. <laughs> To be honest, if I'd known the truth, I'd never have gone there. But once I found out, what can I say? It's too late. She's a very talented young woman, your daughter. Yes, I know. Oh, sorry, of course you do. <laughs> uh, it's why, you know, I think it's very important that she gets all her qualifications. Mum! No, your mum's right. And believe me, all I want to do is what's best for Bethany, which is why her education is my top priority. Yeah? <laughs> Good to meet you, and I, I, I hope, well, I hope I've set your mind at rest. Yeah, it's been good to meet you, too. Well, uh, see you, and... Uh, oh, thanks. <laughs> thanks uh, again. <laughs> Take care. See you later. I don't know what it is, but when he opens his mouth, I just want to punch him. Gary. What? Your 16-year-old daughter's dating a middle-aged man and you're fine with it. He's not middle-aged, and of course I'm not fine with it. Well, from where I was saying it looked that way. Right, I don't want to lose her, so what do you expect Sarah, to do? Sarah, are you seriously telling me that it's normal for a guy like that to be dating a kid? Cos it wasn't so long ago that you were thinking something totally different when you thought that I was after Bethany, and you'd have been right. All right, again, I'm asking you, because I don't want to alienate her, so what do I do? Something. We should have done no, something. No, Gary, there's no we. I'm the parent. I'm the one that's got to make decisions about my child. You know something? It's not always easy. OK, well, good luck with that, yeah? Let's just hope you don't live to regret this. Where are you going? <laughs> 